Welcome to Creative World. In this video, we will solve Chapter 2 Learning Assessment E2.17. While solving this problem, we will be using equivalent resistance calculation formula for two parallel connected resistances. That is R equivalent equal to R1 multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And Ohm's law, according to Ohm's law, voltage across any resistance R is always equal to the product of current through that resistance and the value of resistance. We also will be using current divider rule. Basic equation of current divider rule for this particular circuit are shown here. Now move towards the problem. Read the scenario learning assessment E2.17. Calculate the output voltage V0 in given below figure. This is the circuit diagram of given problem. We have to calculate voltage across this 20 kilo ohm resistance. So without wasting time, let's proceed towards the solution. In this circuit, the voltage across this 20 kilo ohm resistance is required to calculate. And we know that the voltage across any resistive element is the product of current through that resistance and the value of resistance. In this case, we only have the value of resistance, but the current through this resistance is not given. So first we have to calculate the value of current through this resistance. Later on, we will calculate the voltage across this resistance. In this circuit, we only have a single voltage source. First, we will reduce this circuit to calculate this total current. And then we will use current divider rule to calculate current of this branch. Later on, we will be able to calculate voltage across this 20 kilo ohm resistance. So start reducing the circuit. If we observe these two resistances, 40 kilo ohm and 20 kilo ohm are connected in series. So in order to minimize the circuit, we have to sum these resistances together to form a single resistance. Because this is a series connection, so these resistances will add together to form a single resistance having the value of 60 kilo ohm. So we can replace these two resistances with a single resistance having the value of 60 kilo ohm. Now if we observe these two resistances are in parallel. So we can use parallel equivalent resistance calculation formula for two parallelly connected resistances to calculate their equivalent resistance. That will be product of these two resistances divided by sum of these two resistances. Calculate their equivalent resistance that will be 20 kilo ohm. Now we can replace these two parallel resistances with a single resistance having the value of 20 kilo ohm. Circuit is reduced. We can calculate current through this circuit. Current of this circuit can be calculated by using Ohm's law. Voltage across these resistances is known and the value of resistances is also known. We can calculate current which will be total voltage divided by total resistance 12 divided by 40 kilo ohm and the current is 0.3 milliampere. Now this is the total current of this circuit which is flowing in this way clockwise. Now we have calculated the total current of this circuit. We will expand the circuit to calculate current in this branch. Total current of this circuit is flowing into this node and from here it will divide into two paths. One path is this and the other one path is this. These green arrows are showing the distribution of this current into two paths and we are interested into this branch current only. So first we have to label these branches currents. This branch current is labeled as I1 and this branch current will be treated as I2 and we are interested to calculate the value of I2. We can use here current divider rule to calculate the value of I2. So in this case, the basic equation of current divider rule for this circuit will be I2 equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by total current. In this scenario, total current is 0.3 milliampere. I2 is the required current. R1 will be 30 kilo ohm and R2 will be the sum of these two resistances. So place the values into the formula. R1 is 30 kilo ohm divided by R1 plus R2 and R2 is the sum of these two values 40 plus 20 kilo ohm and the total current is 0.3 milliampere. Solve this equation to calculate the value of I2 that is 0.1 milliampere. Now we have calculated the value of I2 that is 0.1 milliampere and this same current will flow from both resistances because of series connection. So at this stage we have calculated current I2 passing through this resistance. Value of resistance is already given. So we can calculate the voltage of this resistance as well. Using Ohm's law to calculate its voltage. 
करंट थ्रू दिस रेजिस्टेंस इज जीरो पॉइंट वन मिली एम्पेयर मल्टीप्लाई द वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस डेट इज ट्वेंटी किलो ओम सो द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस रेजिस्टेंस विल बी टू वोल्ट एंड दिस वोल्टेज विल बी लेबल्ड एज वी नॉट सो द वैल्यू ऑफ वी नॉट इज टू वोल्ट दिस वॉज लर्निंग असेसमेंट ई टू पॉइंट सेवनटीन थैंक यू सी यू अगेन इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो